you know, this is just gonna be a mashup. This is just gonna be a mess because there's so many things we wanna quickly just talk about and uh, I don't know how this is gonna go. We've got a list here. Number one is Lucifer. We've been trying to get through Lucifer for three weeks. Yes. And we're on episode four. Um, I don't know why this season just isn't doing it for us. Yeah, we're not really feeling it. I think the thing with the show is it's just come into this sense of security within itself. And a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, the things they were doing seemed really fresh. Now it just seems tired. Yeah, oh. It I... seemed so distinct before, and now it's like, oh, that's just the tone of the show. Yeah. You know what? I think you've actually hit the nail on the head. Yeah? I think we, we, we've settled into it so much that now what they're doing just seems the norm. Oh, I think... I think you're right. It doesn't have that flair. I do think since Netflix has taken over, mm. the writing isn't as good as it was in the first two seasons. Three seasons. Three I agree. Seasons. I agree. I think the first three seasons improved every season. Yeah. With three being as good as two, but mm -hmm. two and three definitely improving on season one, which was great on its own. Yeah. Four was good. Five was solid. But I think six so far just hasn't had that oomph to it. And with the reveal in this episode now, which I kind of assumed with the theme of the episode that this red-winged angel was actually Lucifer's kid. Spoilers. Spoil, spoilers. <laughs> it's been out for like a month now, yeah. I guess. So it's not really spoilers really, but um, maybe that's kind of twinge something to make it a bit better, but something is just not right. And with this being the last season of a really, really great show, like one of the first videos I made of making a video every single day, like over a thousand days ago, one of those first videos was about Lucifer being canceled <gasps> yeah! all those times ago and Netflix it picking it up. That's how long I've been making a video for every single day. Yeah. And um, when it got picked up, it was great news. Mm -hmm. It was incredible. And Netflix have done a solid job with it. But yeah. I think this season, just hasn't been on form for them. I think what we've seen in the past, I would say two seasons, is that I feel like the twists and turns aren't as twisty and turny. Mm. It seems more predictable. And I don't know whether that's just us. We've maybe grown as people. So we're seeing things, we're perceiving television and film differently. Or <sighs> is the writing itself just seeming more predictable? Because in the first two, three, even four seasons, you know, when things were happening, we couldn't believe it and we didn't foresee it. Like when Charlotte Richards died. I, I foresaw a lot of it. I but I'm a wizard, so that's yeah, kind of oh, what yeah, happens. Yeah, yeah. But... Uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. I believe... No, when he says that, I do actually believe him because he is very good with things like this. But with Lucifer, there was always something that I never wanted to think ahead. But now with the storylines, the way that they're writing them, mm. I'm kind of instinctively thinking ahead yeah. and I can see where they're going. And then as they're going down that route, I'm like, no, why yeah. are you doing this? Which... I never did before. I think generally the storytelling isn't as good and I think that's bled into the whole thing because I think I can go back and rewatch seasons one, two and three, which I have done. I've watched the whole show twice, I believe, up to season four, including season four. And I can watch those episodes and enjoy every single one of them. Even the filler ones, I can enjoy them. But with it now, it just doesn't have that same sheen to it. But something else we jumped onto was Only Murders in the Building. That's a different case, baby. That one has improved by leaps and bounds. Guys, I was not expecting anything from yeah. Only Murders in the Building. I was there for Selena Gomez. Oh, come on. And Steve, Steve Martin. Martin. And Martin Short. Come but on. mainly, mainly, yeah. I'll be honest, it was Steve Martin and Selena Gomez. Oh, right, okay. Truly. She's just at in Martin Short here. You're, not, a, you're a legend. Look, you're a legend. I'll all be right? really honest. I'm not as familiar with Martin Short as I am with Selena Gomez because Indy, I grew the up only with thing Disney you know Channel. Steve Martin from is cheaper by the dozen. And other things. No, I've seen his face. What? I just can't what? really swear. What? I just, cheaper by the dozen don't, too. Don't add Cheap, me That's like where this. you know it from. Don't you add me like <laughs> <laughs> and what I'm saying is, I wasn't expecting much from the show, uh -huh. honestly. Murder mystery-esque thing, we didn't know what the tone was going to be, mm. we didn't know what the writing was going to be like, but it's very addicting. I'm almost sad that it's a weekly episode thing, because if I could, I would binge this. And I don't binge No, we don't want to binge it, because there's only a small amount of it. Yeah. And you know, once you're sucking on the teat like that, you <laughs> get into that type of routine, and then you're like, what should I binge next? Yeah. Not good, not good to do, but... I do think the last episode of this was also the weakest one we watched. Episode mm -hmm. six, I think, where they went more into the cop story. Yeah. I think it was the weakest episode because it detracted from the main three characters, but it was still a solid episode. Yeah. And I think this show has been a sleeper hit, honestly. Sleeper hit. It's way better than I assumed it would be. 
Yeah, well, the writing itself, the pacing, the characters are so intriguing. Like, yeah. they really hit us with that character-driven story. Uh -huh. I need to know more about them, and I need to know why they're doing the things that they're doing. And as we learn more, I'm liking them more and more. That's the thing. You stick a character, you know what their motivations are, you understand what they're doing, and then sometimes they flip the script and you're like, oh, I don't understand what they're doing. I don't understand their motivations. But what would they do in this situation? And you believe every single time they're in that weird scenario that they get put in. And there's confirmed season two. Really? Confirmed season two. So I don't know what that means for the story. Is someone going to get got? One of the three going to get got? I don't know. I don't know. Is is there going to be a real podcast that they're going to actually put out? Because I would there listen to. to it. There has to be. I need to hear their, to. their podcast from the show. It's inevitable, as Thanos would say. They need to do it. <laughs> they need to make a murder podcast. I don't think they can get them doing it it's very unlikely but it's possible maybe tina Fey's character uh yeah maybe i think maybe i mean because there was that thing of maybe she's actually stolen the idea of the podcast to create a podcast in the future or a podcast about them in the future a maybe they about sold them. it maybe they sold it maybe they sold the rights oh, to her maybe you know maybe. maybe she didn't steal it let's not assume bad mm. intent you know mm. but really really surprisingly good show and i think when you look at those two things we're looking at a show which we loved something which I really supported in Lucifer, kind of falling away a little bit. Whereas this show, which I wasn't expecting much from, but was hoping it was going to be good, blowing me out the water. As long as it doesn't end in a shoddy way, yeah. Only Murders in the Building, one of the best TV shows of the year. I, I totally agree with you. And I think I've just realized what it is. It's the expectation. Yeah. You know, we went into Only Murders with very low expectations. We were like, you know what? We'll give it a go. Yeah. We'll give it a chance. And then it surprised us with how good it was and how it hooked us. Compared to Lucifer, where we've had five seasons of really enjoyable television. And we've got this bar that we've set that was consistently being surpassed mm. and then at least held. And now it feels like it's coming down. And I think also the knowledge that it's going to be the final season. Mm. I'm looking at the series thinking, how are they going to wrap this up? Where's it going to end? Each of these individual characters, what is their end point going to be? And is it going to be fulfilling in the next six episodes, yeah. seven episodes? Yeah. And I feel like that's changing the way that we perceive it. Yeah, I think the knowledge that it is going to be finished and it's not going to be addressed ever again is something that maybe worries you from a storytelling point of view. But there is another six or seven episodes left. There's a lot of stuff they can get done in six, seven hours of TV time. So I expect them to really wrap up the show well. But the reveal of the kid, I suppose it kind of made it a bit more interesting, but it was predictable. Yeah. Which... When she was first introduced with just the image of her, it was very confusing. Yeah. Like, oh, what the hell is this? And she's been intriguing because there's not been much to know about her. They've not given you anything on her other than now. They've told you that she's his daughter. Mm -hmm. But it's been basically the biggest intrigue of the show so far. It's not that the episodes have been that engaging, honestly. I think Chloe's been very different this season as well. Yeah. Because of the Amenadiel necklace and her having greater power may have changed her slightly. It's not the way I hoped it would be. I think it's a case of character consistency. Mm. We've consistently known who Lucifer and each of these characters have been for the past five seasons and yeah. seen how they've grown. And especially in the beginning of the Netflix seasons, mm. they slightly shifted. Slightly. They had the same slightly. trajectory, but you could see their past were different mm -hmm. and it was kind of apparent. And I think that slight change in trajectory has sort of slowly grown mm. with each season. And the with thing is, I agree with you. I do agree with you. But I think that there are only a few characters that have diverted from their path. Mm. I think Lucifer is Lucifer the way he was. I think yeah. Amenadiel is Amenadiel the way he was. Linda is Linda the way she was practically. Almost yeah. the same. Maze is Maze. I think mm. they've slightly altered her, but her core character is her core character. Yeah. The only one, the only one who isn't, and I think it's only this season where that has happened, and maybe last season, last season. is Chloe. And Ella. Ella has always been like that, though. I don't think they've altered her character that much. They've they've put her character on steroids. That's yeah. what they've done with her. They've yeah. like made her a caricature almost. Yeah, yeah, you're right? right. Where it was endearing in the first few seasons, now it's like, it's a bit too much bubblegum pop. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Whereas Chloe is very different to the way she used to be. And I think partially that is because she now has superpowers. And that may have power corrupts, absolute power corrupts, yeah. absolutely. It might be a theme throughout this show and maybe Chloe might be uh, in a bit of a weird space with the amount of power she has now. I, I think you're right. I know I'm right. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't even say it anymore. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we just chatted a bit of nonsense. Uh, some TV shows we've been catching up on, watching, enjoying, critiquing. 
And obviously, everyone's a critic nowadays. That's just how it is. But the, the brave ones, the bold ones, um, put their opinion out there to be slaughtered. And uh, I'm sure that there will be people absolutely coming for us, a handful, in the comments about us having our opinion on Lucifer the way we do. But I'm telling you, this is coming from someone who supported Bring Lucifer Back, Save Lucifer. And I'm telling you, the show just isn't as good as it was for season four, season five, one, two, three, none of it. But that can change. Still more than half a season to go. And our minds can indeed be altered. Anyway, guys. If you'd enjoy this video, I don't know how you'd enjoy it. It was just us spitting absolute garbage. But if you did, then please do like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel down there if you didn't. If you didn't, Lucifer himself gonna come after you. You don't want that. No. Do they want that? No. You really don't. So just subscribe anyway to avoid that. I've been Narendra the Comic. I've been India. Nonsense. Nonsense? Nonsense. You've been great, and we'll see you next time. That's tomorrow. If you don't know, make a video every single day. Been doing it every day for over 1,000 days now. We ain't stopping till we get to 10,000 subscribers. I just clocked. I can only half see out of this eye. So, <laughs> I'm assuming you've only been able to see half my face for most of this video. Cool. Maybe. I'll find out if it was a look or not. I'm not sure if it was, but my hair's kind of okay right now, to be honest. It's not the worst it's been. It's not the best it's been. It's kind of like unruly, but in a bit of a hippie way. As I said, been making a video every day for over 1,000 days now. We ain't stopping until we get to 10,000 subscribers. So do subscribe. Pop back again tomorrow for some more quality shitty content. Because we're hashtag never not here. Just how it goes. Also bring the pakwas. Pakwas means nonsense and simple jubby. We also bring that. Bring a lot. Bring a little, do a lot, do a little. But we do indeed bring the quality shitty content on a daily basis. So see you tomorrow. More of the same. Slightly different, but essentially the very same. Once more. See you then. Skoodish.